A rare look tonight into where life-saving research takes place at CHEO. Scientists there have made two discoveries that may change the way cancer is treated for years to come. Here's CTV's Katie Griffin. But there's no visible, visible difference. In the fight against cancer, this is where researchers are trying to get the upper hand. Oncolytics is uh, just the study of uh, using viruses to treat cancer. Scientists at the CHEO Research Institute have discovered the Maraba virus. It finds tumors and tricks cancer cells into killing themselves. It's the way that it does it which then turns on our immune systems that allows our immune systems to see tumors and start to fight those tumor cells again. In addition to the oncolytic virus, a vaccine has also been engineered. Researchers are counting on the immune system's ability to remember to reduce the need for patients to be continually treated. Because we're not trying to poison every cancer cell in the body. We're just, we're revealing where these cancer cells are and, and setting up a situation that allows our immune system to then delete them and keep them deleted for a lifetime, we're hoping. Early indicators show the therapy will be more potent and easy to tolerate. You get flu-like symptoms and they're very transient, they last for 24 hours. And then uh, really there's no issues, it doesn't attack your DNA so there's no long-term damage. If this is positive, I will transform it into bacteria so I can grow it and eventually make new virus with it. The team has also discovered a new virus, Farmington, that is able to treat brain cancer. You can inject large amounts of this virus in the brain, it's really safe, and yet it has the ability to sense glioma cells from normal cells and we're now working to get this uh, into a clinical trial as quickly as we can. Clinical trials are expected to start soon. We now realize that uh, you know there's a real shot that we're going to impact uh, patients in the clinic just by uh, you know understanding how we're now engaging the immune response which is something we didn't know a decade ago and it was through these donation dollars that allowed us to buy the time to really understand these things. To, to get to the point where we can actually engage patients in the clinic. Katie Griffin, CTV News. Your continued support makes a difference in the lives of children at CHEO. Please visit CHEOFoundation.com and donate today.